And it is because we keep allowing them to take our tax dollars and work against us uh, to fund our enemies and to fund uh, hostile takeovers. Uh, That's why Rand Paul's own. right. End all foreign aid. William F. Jasper, great job. We need to get you back up more often. Thanks for the time. TheNewAmerican.com. Read his amazing writings there. Thank you, William. So Shepard Smith grills Walter Jones because Walter Jones is saying we need to have people of integrity. Do you think that might be a problem in Washington? Walter Jones has been there for 20 years. He knows that's a problem. But here's another problem. And that's the fact that there were Wikipedia entries put on after he stepped down on both his site and on Renee Elmer's site. Those were traced back to Homeland Security, specifically back to Customs Border Patrol. What is going on with that? We've seen now multiple occasions where law enforcement is being used, their information that they collect on everyone is being used to blackmail, to smear high-ranking government officials. That's the depth of corruption that we have to deal with in Washington. Now stay with us when we come back. We're going to talk to Rob Dew about what he went through at the hospital for vaccination pressure as well as pressure on the vitamin K shot. You'll want to hear this. Stay with us. We'll be right back. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for prison. Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. So I, I want to talk to you all about the vitamin K. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so vitamin K has been around since 1960. Mm -hmm. And before 1960, I don't know if you've ever heard of hemorrhagic disease of newborn. So newborns, vitamin K is not transferred through the placenta very well, and babies can't build up the stores for vitamin K. So they're, they're pretty much deficient of vitamin K when they're first born. Right. Um, their bodies don't naturally start to produce it until they're several weeks old, like usually about four to six weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, once moms that are breastfeeding, you know, get that good bacteria in their gut, and their gut gets colonized with all that good flora, and that flora makes the vitamin D in in endogenously, you know, on its own. So it takes several weeks for that to happen. So babies are somewhat susceptible in the first several weeks of life uh, to have clotting deficiency. Before 1960, the rate of hemorrhagic disease in newborn, and that's when babies could bruise all over, they'll have blood in their, they can have blood in their urine, they can have blood in their stool, they um, can have a bleed in their head, um, was, you know, one out of 10,000, and then for uh, late onset, and then one out of 1,000, I'm sorry, one for 10,000 for early onset, and then there's late onset, which is several weeks later, uh, one of 1,000 babies. They did a study not too long ago 
on a um, thousand babies uh, MRIs, and they found that one of every four babies born non-traumatic, vaginal, no vacuum, no you know, no forces, nothing, just a normal delivery. Because delivery itself is lots of compression, right? Mm-hmm. There's, and there's a risk involved there. Um, one of every four babies actually has an asymptomatic bleed in their head, meaning a bleed that you know they don't have symptoms of initially. Perfectly healthy looking babies. Um, if babies don't get the clotting factors they need and they don't get the vitamin K, the risk of that is the late onset presentation of hemorrhagic disease in newborn babies, can, that bleed continues and they develop seizures later on, several weeks after life. Um, and of course that's life threatening, you know, and that's a very scary thing. Well, I'm here with Rob Dew and what you were listening to was something that Rob recorded. He had a baby girl a week ago and you heard one side of this. Now, Rob, I thought it was interesting when I was listening to that, she's talking about all the problems, and so you get a one-sided risk analysis, but nothing is said about the risk of what she is proposing or the effectiveness of it. Exactly, and that's what I call the soft scare tactic. And, you know, the vitamin K shot is the first shot that the doctors try to tell you you have to get, you know, when you have a newborn. And then they also try to push the hepatitis B vaccine, which is completely ridiculous uh, because, you know, my newborn baby girl, which we have a picture of right here, does not take intravenous drugs or <laughs> is having anal sex. God, I hope right. she never has sex. But anyway. <laughs> that's what, what Rand Paul said as well. He yeah. said, yeah, really? Uh, hepatitis B for newborns? Is it, like, it, it, it's, it's ridiculous. But that's what, you know, they do that because some nurse might have it and mm-hmm. contaminate the baby, whatever. You're not going to give my kid a shot. That, that could potentially have all kinds of side effects, including there was just a story I tweeted about um, uh, Selena Gomez, this big singer, has lupus. Mm-hmm. And I tweeted out, did she get lupus from the hep B vaccine? Because she probably got it when she was a kid and she doesn't even know it. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, there's, she's a 20-something-year-old girl and she's getting chemotherapy for lupus. I mean, mm-hmm. that's horrible. But getting back to, to this uh, vitamin K shot, so they, they first do this scare tactic. And I, I recorded uh, three different pediatricians and the reason I recorded them was because uh, my wife and I have always given our, our kids, our three sons, first, we gave them the oral version of the vitamin K. We're like, we'll, we'll just take the oral. You can prescribe it. We don't care how much it is. That's the route we want to go to. Mm-hmm. And so she came in, gave me this whole song and dance. It was a lot longer than that. I cut out about half of what she was talking about, the history of the vitamin K shot and this and that. <laughs> and it only existed in, since 1960. And... Uh, And then we go into the ingredients because there's only five ingredients, she said. There's no mercury. There's no aluminum. She makes sure she says that. But there is alcohol in there, and it's 0.9% alcohol in the solution used as a preservative, Uh. which she seemed to think was no big deal. But uh, (laughs) let's go to that clip now. And it's been safe. It's been around since 1960. It only has five ingredients in it, Um, alcohol, corn starch. There's no aluminum. There's no mercury. It's it's really a, a very safe injection. I think it's got like castor oil or some sort You're right. of castor, castor oil. Castor oil is one. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's it's all very, you know, basic ingredients that yeah. are very small, small, minute amounts. So in Australia, there was, you know, t- they, they did this period of time where people were refusing it and they were just offering oral vitamin K. And then they found that the oral vitamin K didn't work. The, the incidence of hemorrhagic disease in newborn actually shot back up. So they give you, they gave me, she gave me that statistic of that one study. Well, after that, she said the next day you could talk to the, the next pediatrician who we have a clip of her as well. Um, and so I went online and looked I said, I want to find this study. I could not find the Australian study she was talking about, but I did find, well, here's a study from Germany that says it's the oral is just as good as the shot. Here's one from Switzerland. And we'll put the links to these studies in this video. So people can go check them out for themselves. That's yeah, because they're going to do this to your children, to your grandchildren. There, and you need to understand exactly. yourself what is effective, and you need to understand yourself what the risk is. Exactly. And I'll get to some preventive things that you can do without having to get a shot. Here's Australia, Germany, Netherlands, Switzerland. Uh, this is Denmark. We considered the mentioned weekly reg- re- regimen safe and af- appropriate. Uh, this is one out of Bangkok, which they say it's just as good. Here's one out of India. It is concluded that oral vitamin K is as effective as injectable vitamin K, and its usage is recommended in our country to reduce complications and costs of prenatal therapy. This is one out of, uh, I'm not sure exactly, it said the article's in Spanish, which they say it's it's fine. And then here is a 27-year study out of the University of Missouri that they gave just the uh, the infants there a oral dose 
of a single dose since 1967, and they conclude that they've met their duty in providing appropriate care. You know, you can only so take these with stack, a grain of salt. You've yeah, got here's a stack of studies that studies. say that oral is effective. And yes. she's saying, giving you one study that says that it's not. Right. And then getting to, and then I want to get to this in a second. This is the next clip. But the reason I really freak out about the vitamin K is here on the Merck uh, insert, which I always say, read the damn insert, yep. tweet that out. Warning, intravenous use. Severe reactions, including fatalities, have occurred during and immediately after the prenatal, uh, or the, parent, the parental administration of whatever this aqua mini fawn, which is the solution of vitamin but, K. But the operative word there is fatalities. Fatalities, yeah. Fatalities. Include shock, cardiac arrest, respiratory arrest. Uh, severe reactions, uh, you know, that's, so they have the top. Seen this. that's a warning yes. on the top of the insert. Mm -hmm. And so when she's sitting here telling me all this, all I'm thinking of is this warning on top of the insert. So I asked her about that and here's how she defended this. Where's that? So we put it into the muscle. We don't put it into the vein. And by the way, anything you put intravenously, any kind of um, medication or vitamin pose risk because that's going into the, uh, you know, circulation immediately, mm -hmm. right? Intramuscularly, it's a completely different absorption rate, and you know where we put it in the thigh and where we locate where the muscle is. You know, to put it in, it's not close to any vein. There's no risk of it. It's more like going indirectly into a vein that you worry about, and you're not going to have that risk going into the thigh. But isn't that going to? I mean, you're injecting it into the muscle. Isn't that still going to go into the bloodstream more quickly than? No, if it, it were? fuses. It goes in the bloodstream, but it doesn't go at the high high um, volume that you're talking about when you put it in directly into a vein. Well, how do you know that you're not going to get it into a vein or a blood vessel? Because I mean, know? when you go, when you go to get blood drawn, a lot of times I've had to miss the vein. Mm -hmm. So there if you they can miss the vein on an adult, do you think they could miss it on a child and a newborn baby where, where it's so small? And here's another interesting thing. This is on Mercola.com, the potential dark side of routine newborn vitamin K shot. You got to go down a little bit, but it says, the amount of vitamin K injected into newborns is 20,000 times the needed dose. Wow. Maybe that's why it intravenously could wow. harm the wow. uh, young baby. And uh, it may contain additional preservatives that are toxic to your baby's delicate immune system, one of which is glycol alcohol, and they fully <laughs> admit that. You know, um, it's okay to inject alcohol into your baby, but if you gave your baby a shot, you would get a, a shot of alcohol, you'd get arrested. Because they say, well, it's not the same amount. It's a very small amount, small amount of aluminum, yeah. small amount of mercury. <laughs> You know, don't worry. So that's all there. And, um, you know, and then you have, so then I went to the other two pediatricians and they basically said they're not interested in doing it because the studies show that it doesn't really, uh, is as effective and we can just roll those clips back to back. I talked with y'all about the vitamin K mm -hmm. and that, um, did y'all did decide to give that to her or just defer on that? Well, we'd, we'd still like to give her the oral version mm -hmm. of that and have, and, um, as opposed to nothing. Yeah, as opposed to nothing. That's what we'd, that's what we'd prefer to do. Because the oral is not readily absorbed, and we don't know how much the baby gets, so right. it's um, not really that effective um, as having the IM. Um. They found that the, I know y'all did it with the boys, but they find the efficacy is, is just not that good and mm -hmm. there's not an exact dose. And so that's why we usually don't re recommend doing the oral yeah. vitamin K. Protect yourself and your family. That's it for tonight's news. Join us again on Monday at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. 
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.